In only 30 minutes, we are gonna improve your speed and power plus build muscle. This is a full body kettlebell workout today. So get your kettlebells, but if you only have your dumbbells, I'm gonna have modifications for you as well. We're gonna mix cardio with strength. So get your water bottle, your towel, and let's do this. Let's get warm so we can get strong. We're gonna start with a squat, two lateral squats, and then two lateral squats to the other side. We're gonna take it down for two, and then switch it up other side. Really excited to be working with a kettlebell today. Now again, if you do not have a kettlebell, like I mentioned at the beginning, I am gonna have modifications on screen for you the entire time we're doing strength exercises with that kettlebell. So if you just have your dumbbell, that will work perfectly. And we're only gonna need one kettlebell for each exercise today. I'm gonna be using my 20 and 25 pound kettlebell. You're gonna wanna pick something moderately heavy. This is not a max out heavy workout, but something that is going to challenge you and help us build that strength. Last one, taking it back to the center. Now we're gonna go into an opposite finger to toe touch. So we're just gonna take it down, hinging it here. Now, as you start out, you might not be able to reach the toe, but throughout, try to take it a little bit farther. So maybe we're starting here at shin or even at knee, and then try to reach it down for your toe. Breathing. Feeling this warm up through the hamstrings. Ooh. One more each side. Then we're gonna take it into a low sumo squat. Along with those modi modifications for the dumbbells, I'm also gonna have modifications for our cardio moves to keep everything low impact. Now with this sumo squat, we're gonna take it down here. I want you to open up the hips first. So just take press back on the hips, sinking the bum down and then up. We're gonna do that two more times down. Open up the hips, just gently press open and then up one more down. Open it up. Now we're gonna add a little twist here with the upper body. So walking those hands up, dropping one shoulder down and then other side. So for today's workout, we have seven combos of a strength and cardio move. We're gonna work through those two times. Work for strength on for 40. Work for um, cardio on for 30. And then we're gonna have a rest of 15 in between strength and cardio and 30 after that combo set. Two more, here's two. Ooh, and one. Bring it up. We're gonna reach up high and then let those arms come down. And then reach up high, get up even on those toes here and down, up high and down. We're gonna jog in place next, get that heart rate up. Last one here, so let's just jog it out, get those arms going. Now you can keep it at low impact, just marching those knees, march it quick, because again today, we are working power, we are working speed, and we are working strength. So we're gonna get ready to go. We're gonna get into that first combo. First combo is a sumo squat with a bottoms up curl. Then we're gonna do punch jacks. grab your kettlebell or grab your dumbbell. You'll see that modification. Now for this, we're gonna hold on. Palms are gonna be facing away from you, holding on to the horns here of the kettlebell. Legs out as we squat. We're gonna curl in three, two, and one. Here we go. So squat, curl it up and down. Now the bottoms up challenges you in a whole new way with where the weight is. So you're gonna feel a little bit of a shake if you're getting used to the kettlebell. It's gonna help our grip strength, which I know that is one thing I need to work on. And if I get to work on it while I'm strengthening the rest of my body, oh hey, let's go. Breathe, come on, push. Oh, good, keep those wrists straight here as you lift and lower. Squeeze the biceps, arms stay close. Almost there, we're gonna get 15 seconds of rest, then we'll go into that cardio move. Here it is, three, two, and one. Set that kettlebell or dumbbell out of the way. Getting ready for punch jacks. We're gonna punch up towards the sky. This is where we're working on speed. This is where we're working on power. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now you see that modification on screen. You are tapping it out, but you were keeping it low and you were working on your speed. So come on, as we work through cardio, I want you to think speed and power, so push it. Come on, drive those arms up, power through here. 
shorter work with cardio because I want you to max it out. This is gonna boost our metabolism too, so come on, keep it up. Oh, gonna work that endurance. Three, two, one. Nice, breathe, 30 seconds, we repeat. So sumo squat with the bottoms up curl, comboed with the punch jack. If you need a drink, if you need to dry off, do that now. How am I drying off already after a warm up? I don't know, but <laughs> here I am drying off. It's gonna be a fun one today. Grab your kettlebell and get ready. So remember, palms face out. You're gonna hold on to the horns. This part is the horn. So grab that. Shoulders roll down and back, legs out, and let's go. So drop it and curl. Squeeze the biceps. Oh. Keep that sumo squat low. Get that full range here with that bicep curl. Mixing it up between cardio and strength today, it's gonna get the heart rate up. You're gonna feel out of breath, and that's okay. That's what we're working on today. Almost there. We get to switch it up here. Three, two, one. Out of the way here with your weight. Getting ready, punch jacks. Low impact modification, keep it low. Speed and power, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go, power it out. Come on, get those legs moving. Punch that ceiling, power it up. Halfway. Keep it strong. Now is not the time to slow down. Now is the time to pick it up. Remember, only 30 seconds of work. So we can push this. Here it is, countdown. Three, two, one. Breathe, moving on. Now we're gonna work a single arm. We're gonna rack the dumbbell or the kettlebell single arm up. We're gonna do a squat to a reverse lunge. Now opposite leg is gonna step back for that lunge. Modification, if you are not doing lunges, you're just gonna do that single arm racked squat. Keep that wrist straight. If you got your dumbbell, keep the wrist straight. Going here, three, two, and one. Squat it down first. Bring it up, reverse lunge back, and up. Squat it down. Now again, just with that modification, keep working through that squat. Keep that form, keep that chest up, down. Whew. And up, good. Squat. Almost there. Don't worry about the number of reps right now. We're working on that strength, so take your time. Full range. Make sure you're going heavy. You're not just rushing through the sets. Breathing, almost there. Here's three, two, one, kettlebell out of the way. All right, next we're going into a runner's lunge with power up. So whatever leg was forward for your lunge, keep that forward for the runner's lunge and we're gonna power up. Three, two, and one, here we go. Now if you are taking that modification without the hop, I want you to think about driving that knee up. Same if you're adding the hop. Come on, power up. Take it down, power. Now, if you got a little bit more speed, add it now. Come on, drive that arm up. Opposite arm to opposite leg, drive up. Here we are, three, two, one. Once more. Grab your kettlebell, your dumbbell. We're 20 out. Same thing, same side. So remember the leg you're working right now because when we get to that next round through, we're gonna switch it up. 10 out. Whew. Bring that kettlebell up. Squat to reverse lunge, or without the lunge, just doing the squat. Here's three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat it down. Opposite leg to kettlebell. Step back and up. Keep that chest up. Whew. So kettlebells will challenge us in a new way. If you're used to working with dumbbells, kettlebells will challenge us just because of where the weight is hanging. 
Now you know with the dumbbell, you got even weight on both side, sides. With the kettlebell, hanging right down in the middle. So totally different. That's why if you're feeling that shaking, it's normal. Almost there. We go back to that power lunge and press. Three, two, one. Kettlebell down. All right, we're gonna power up. Going here in three. No, actually we're not. I'm rushing. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, power up. Come on, take it low and then power up. This one, not quite as much about the speed because I really want you to focus on that power. Taking it down, driving up. We're working to be well-rounded. We gotta work the power, we gotta work the speed and the strength. You've almost made it. Three, two, one, breathe. All right, same thing, other side. Grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. You're single racking it on one side. Bracelets out of the way. So squat first, lunge back with the opposite leg for whatever your kettlebell's in. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat and lunge. Ooh. Oh, I love it when I can see a little bit of a muscular imbalancing. Uh, balance, I'm noticing it right now. This side, really challenging here for me to keep my balance. So if you notice a muscular imbalance, just take note. And then remember that, something you can work on, something to be aware of. The more you know, the more you can grow. So don't forget that. Especially as we're training hard right now. Keep your focus, almost there. Three, two, one, kettlebell out of the way. Remember, we're moving on to that runner's lunge to power up. Getting ready to go. Three, two, and one. Down and power. So opposite arm is reaching up towards the sky as that knee comes up. Down, drive it up. Now even if you're taking that modification and you've got that low knee drive. Keep it low. Bring that power. Extend those arms and pull. Almost there. Ooh. Here it is, three, two, and one. Breathe. Once more through. I'm gonna tell you something. Ooh. I'm gonna tell you, I'll be glad when this sets over. I just went there. Sometimes we gotta do what we don't wanna do but it helps us grow. You know that. Oh, 10 seconds. <sighs> Breathing. All right, grab your kettlebell, or your dumbbell, rack it back up. Squat to lunge. Three, two, and one. <sighs> Listen, I love working out, but you gotta know, not every day I wake up and say, oh, I wanna work out, but Every day I'm grateful that I can, which is what gets me going. So find what you love about working out and just remember that you are able to. And I think we need to take advantage of that while we can and make the most of it. This is gonna make every day thereafter easier. Ooh. Come on, you got it. Down, almost there. Three, two, one, 15 out. <sighs> Breathing, runner's lunge to power up. Here it is, three, two, let's go. Don't forget to breathe here. Exhale as you power up, down and up. Come on up. Here it is. Three, two, 
one. Breathe, we're bringing it to the mat. We're gonna do a hips up skull crusher and a reverse tabletop knee touch. So bring it to the mat. Get ready to grab your dumbbell. Now, option to keep your hips down as well. You can keep your hips down and just do that skull crusher. We're gonna hold on to the bell for our skull crusher. You can see the modification for the dumbbell as well. Let's get ready. Hips come up, arms up, and let's, let's begin. Skull crusher down and up. Down, breathe, squeeze the glutes. Come on, keep those hips up. Don't neglect the lower body here. If you've got those hips up, I want you working that. As you work that lower body, or as you work the upper body, we got the core engaged, the glutes, and those arms. Come on, press. Just hinging at the elbow. Don't move your arm forward or back. Just bend that elbow down. Press all the way up. You're almost there. Getting ready for that. Count down. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Bring it up. Tabletop. We're going to take opposite knee to opposite elbow. This is where I want you to work speed. So I want you to push. This is going to work the abs as well. Bring it up and let's go. Now modification, you're on your bum, but I still want you to work that speed. Meet the elbow to the knee. If your hips are up, keep the hips up. Almost there. Three, two, one. Grab a drink, dry off. You got 30 seconds, we repeat. Hips up, skull crusher, tabletop, knee pulls. Oh, I gotta get a drink. Oh my God. All right, grab your kettlebell, roll it back. Arms come up, hips come up, drive through the heels here. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, lower it down and up. Keep those arms still, just move the elbow joint. And what I mean when I say keep the arm still, don't let the shoulder move. So that upper arm is staying in the same place. Those elbows just hinge, hands come down, and then press straight back up. Squeeze the glutes, don't forget the lower. Almost there, we're gonna finish with cardio. Here it is. Three, two, press it up. You got it. All right, getting ready. Bum down or hips up. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Work on speed this time, really push it. Get it up and let's go, here we go. You will feel the triceps on this one because in this position, whew, arms are working. Get the hips up. Breathe as that knee is meeting the elbow, don't forget to breathe. Three, two, one, oh, breathe. Oh my word. All right, we're bringing it up. We're gonna do alternating uh, single arm kettlebell swing, and then we're gonna combine that with a low quick jump squat. So bring it up. Now, if you do not feel comfortable, one arm with the kettlebell, you're gonna do both arms. That's how you're gonna work the um, dumbbell swing. Shoulders rolled down and back. Let's get to swing in and let's go. So we're gonna bring it up, meet and switch. Squeeze the glutes, come on, this comes, the power comes into play big time right here. All through that posterior chain. Squeeze in the hamstrings, squeeze in the glutes. Back flat, core engaged as that chest comes down and up. 
Arms right about parallel to the floor. So you don't need to swing the weight way up above your head. Control it, grab it, switch, and power. Almost there. Three, two, let that kettlebell swing gently and then set it down and off to the side. So for this low, quick jump squat, think soft feet. It's gonna be very quick. We're gonna stay low and here we go. Now low impact, you can just bring it up onto the toes. But I'm telling you what, you are gonna feel the burn on this one. Keep it low. Think soft feet as you land. You're working out with the sleeping baby like that. That's how we want our feet to be right now. With the sleeping puppy. Don't disturb. Almost there. Three, two, one. Wow. The kettlebell swing with the low jump squats. Legs on fire. Ah. Okay. We gotta do that again. Once more on each. Wow, but know this. Two. Two more rounds. And that's it. Breathing. Grab your kettlebell. Legs out. Going in three, two, and one. Get it swinging, and then let's go. Now, if at any time you feel uncomfortable with the single arm grip, just do both arms. Drive those hips forward. Remember, working strength and power on this one. Almost there. Three, two, one. Carefully let it swing. Low, quick squat. Very soft on the feet. Take it low and let's go. You probably can't even tell that my feet are coming off the ground. That's how I want it to be. Keep it so low, like they are coming off just a very small amount. Just enough to drive through those calves, work the calves, keep the quads contracted. Glutes are working here too. You can feel it through the hamstrings. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, time to hit the back. Breathing, alternating dead stop row with a rotation. So grab a dumbbell. What am I doing grabbing a dumbbell? <laughs> hey, maybe you're using dumbbell. Grab your kettlebell. Kettlebell is going to face with, uh, with the bell kind of in front of you. So you need to be able to grab the handle. Go in here in three, two, and one. Hinge it over, rotate it up and down. Switch it up. Exhale as you squeeze, rotate. So palm is facing the wall behind you. You roll up, that palm faces you. Oof. Shoulder blade around spine. Oof. Remember that. Back flat, core engaged. Oof. Oof. Almost there. Last one, three, two, one, bring it down. We are gonna do plank tuck to push up. So power, strength, speed, all of it on this one. Bring it down, plank tuck, here we go. Then push up. Plank tuck. Now, take some impact out of that. March the feet in, just like that modification. Whew. You've almost got it. We're about 10 out. Here it is. 
Three, two, and one. Breathe. Back to dead stop row with rotation. 20 seconds out. We've got one more round after this. So, breathe. Six sets left. Grab your kettlebell. Put it in the middle. Take those legs out wide. Back flat, core engaged. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, rotating row. Squeeze shoulder blade around spine. Down, switch. Wrist stays straight. Exhale as you lift. Almost there. All right, we're counting down. Three, two, and one. Sorry, I need to make it even on both sides because I know I'm starting with the other side. Bring it down, plank tuck to push up, that is. In that plank, get that body strong and straight. We're working power, speed. Let's go. Tuck it in. Power and speed right here. Push it up, that's the strength. Come on, bring it in. And push. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Breathe. Four sets left, two exercises. We're keeping it down on the mat. For the first one, all about the abs and obliques. Seated, twist. Now, grab your kettlebell. You can use a weight here. You can do this without a kettlebell or dumbbell as well. Feet are gonna stay down. Bring that kettlebell up, holding onto the bell here. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, twist. Really get that twist, hold on to that weight. We're gonna finish this last cardio move. Power and speed, we're doing tuck jumps. So we're gonna get ready to bring it up. Three, two, one. Kettlebell out of the way. Make sure your space is clear. Now, if you're keeping it low impact, think about that power, bring the hands and knees to meet, really power through. Tuck jump here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep it low. Power. Come on, push it now. Drive those knees up. Work the abs here too. All right, we're gonna pound it out. Get that speed, here we go. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Wow, once more, you've made it. We have got just under two minutes of work. Breathing, well really, only one minute and 15 seconds of work. All right, seated twist, with or without that kettlebell. Holding onto the bell. Going here in three, two, and one. Let's twist. Really get the twist. That's that full range of motion. Ooh. 
Almost there. Final set. 30 seconds of work. It's all in. Three, two, one. Kettlebell out of the way. All right, I want you to push. This is it. Make the most of it. You showed up. Let's finish strong. Let's finish powerful. I'm telling you, it will pay off. Tuck jumps in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now, if you're doing that modification, low impact, think about that power. Bring the knees to the hands, power through. Almost there. Come on, the finish line is so close. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Oh my, wow, I told you. We work the strength, the speed, and the power, and you brought it. That will pay off. Amazing job. You are the bomb. This is gonna deserve a stretch, so make sure, head over, grab the stretch. Yeah, we're gonna need that recover. We're gonna need the dessert today. I love you so much. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you at the stretch, and for our next workout, have an amazing day.